For many years, the Gunston Range has been well known for innovative and value for money tools that enable the enthusiastic owner to maintain and service their car to a professional standard without expensive garage equipment. Gunston are particularly well known for their track right wheel alignment range. Today we'll be looking at the Gunston track right wheel alignment gauge and also some new recent additions to the Gunston range. Track right is used to make a quick and easy check of the vehicle's wheel alignment. This is also called tracking and measures toe in or toe out of the front wheels. First make sure the car is on a solid level ground. Then check the tyre pressures are to the manufacturer's specification. Now we will make sure the front wheels are pointing straight ahead and the suspension is settled. The car is moved forward with hands removed from the steering wheel. The track right measures misalignment of the front wheels and the track right scale will show the error. The track right is simply placed in front of one of the front wheels. Set the pointer to zero and drive the car slowly forward over the track right, taking care not to touch the brakes or steering wheel. As the wheel moves over the gauge, any misalignment will be recorded by the pointer. To confirm the reading, repeat the test on the opposite front wheel. If there is no deflection of the pointer after the test, then the wheels are correctly aligned and require no adjustment. To demonstrate, this car has been involved in a front end accident and the front wheel alignment has been affected. The Gunson Track Right Camber Gauge is a quick and easy way to measure the camber angle of the front wheels. Camber is the angle of the wheel viewed from the front. First, the camber gauge is calibrated by using a spirit level and adjusting the thumb screw on the gauge. Again, make sure the vehicle is on a flat level surface and the tyre pressures have been checked. The gauge is magnetic and is mounted to a flat surface that is 90 degrees to the wheel spindle. If possible, mount the gauge directly onto the wheel hub. The gauge is now adjusted to get the bubble level and now the camber angle, negative or positive, can be clearly seen on the gauge. If it's not possible to mount the gauge directly to the hub, then use a flat straight bar placed across two flats on the wheel. The camber gauge is placed directly on the straight bar to get the camber angle reading. We will now look at the Gunson 77099, which will measure the camber caster and KPI with accuracy. The tool is used in conjunction with the Gunson steering turntables, but it can be used on its own for camber readings. Before the steering turntables are positioned, the turntable plates must be locked. Then the turntables are placed under the wheels to be checked. Make sure the wheels are straight and that the turntables are also straight and centered and carefully lower the vehicle onto the turntables. Then remove the locking pins. A number of useful measurements can now be checked. First, we are going to find out if the steering is centralized. The steering is turned to full lock on the left hand side. Then the reading in degrees is noted. Now the steering is moved to full right lock and the reading is checked. The two readings should be the same if the steering is centralized. Now we are going to check the camber using the Gunson 77099 gauge. Again, we make sure the wheels are pointing in the straight head position. Then the device is fitted directly to the wheel hub. Take care to level the device by checking the bubble in gauge D. Then read the camber angle in degrees from gauge A. To check the caster angle, we make full use of the steering turntables. Caster is the angle of the steering axis when viewed from the side. First, turn the wheel out to the right by exactly 20 degrees. Fit the device to the centre of the hub again. Level the device by checking the bubble in gauge D. Then set the caster degree gauge to zero by turning the thumb screw underneath. Now turn the wheels back to straight and then in to the left by 20 degrees. Again, level the device and then the caster angle can be read from the caster degree gauge. The same method is used to measure the kingpin inclination. This is the angle of the steering axis when viewed from the front. This time the angle in degrees is read from the KPI gauge on the device. 